Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you this morning for a reason why episode, and this is called The Reason Why I Love 2019, or Loved 2019. So I'm going to discuss what I'm going to be talking about in this video, and let you know my thoughts on why I love 2019. So let's dive into this video, or reason why video, <laughs> but... Yeah, I really like 2019 because of the music that came out that year. You had In Flames drop an album. Of uh, Andy Biersack did an all right job with his new album. Um, After the Burial did a great job with their new album. Um, Crown the Empire. They got Album of the Year, which was really awesome. <laughs> And there was many more artists like Korn, Bad Wolves, St. Asonia, Alter Bridge, Baby Metal, um, who else? Uh, Issues released an album, but it was alright. Uh, Hell Yeah did a good job on their new album. Uh, Blink-182 did a pretty swift job on their new album. There was a lot of music that came out that year. <laughs> um, Bring Me the Horizon came out with an album, but it was alright. It wasn't great, but it was average at best. Um, but yeah, uh, I really liked it because it, my mental health was actually doing really good that year. This year it's kind of... Uh, off balance a little bit. It's, it's having it. It's like. I don't know what to describe it as. It's just. This year is not really doing so well for me. Uh, and because of the coronavirus thing. And it's really fucking everything up. Um, but yeah. I really liked 2019. I liked the music that came out. I liked some of the movies that came out. And certain video games too. <laughs> uh, but it was a good year. It was a really good year. I didn't think it'd be a fantastic year. But it was. There was a lot of music that came out that year. And some returning artists too. Like Tool. Came back with an album after 13 years, and most fans were waiting so long, and they returned with an album. They also returned with The Perfect Circle back in 2018, but I wasn't crazy about that album. It was weird, and it was not for me, but the Tool album was actually pretty good. I really enjoyed it. Uh, sorry that I'm a little tired. My eyes, as you can see, are just, uh, I woke up not too long ago, so <laughs> I just wanted to come back at you for this video and talk about why I loved 2019 for this Reason Why video, but it was a good year. Um, there's other artists that came out with albums, uh, you had Kill Switch Engage come out with an album, Slipknot, Bad Omens, uh, Skillet, of course, but their album was, uh, it wasn't so great. It was alright. I still buy their CDs, but I don't know why I buy their CDs now. <laughs> They're not that great of an artist, any of a band anymore. Uh, then you had Taylor Swift come out with an album. Madonna came back with an album. And I was like, mm, I don't know. I didn't know what to think about it. <laughs> but yeah, um, I did like 2019. It was a good year for me. And mental health wise, it was a really good year. And towards the end of the year, you had Coldplay 
Beck come out with an album. Those artists came out with albums. Akon returned with albums. Digital albums, but they were still pretty good. Um, then you had uh, Ozzy new track reviews. There were new tracks that came out with Ozzy, but the album didn't come out till February this year, and that was a really good album. Uh, I actually own it, so <laughs> I'll definitely do a CD collection video again in time. Uh, but yeah, uh, I just like the music that came out that year for 2019. And towards the end of the year, there were some music that was doing all right but it closed out really well at the end of the year for 2019 and I was pretty pleased with last year and I really enjoyed it and yeah uh that's gonna be it for the reason why episode for I loved 2019 comment below and let me know your thoughts on what you guys liked about 2019 and if you like this reason why episode comment below and let me know your thoughts on it tap a like on this video if you liked it subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel I will be returning to you for the tool 10,000 days album review I'm not sure when I'm gonna do it but it's probably going to be soon, hopefully, because I got to go do laundry in a little bit. Uh, I'm going to be busy doing that. But after that, I'll definitely be able to return to you for that album review. And, yeah. I got maybe a few, another track review to do by Drake. Tossy Slide, I think it's called. Uh, I'll have to listen to it and then review it. And then I'm going to review a song during the week by Man With A Mission, which is Dark Crow, which I never got to review that. I know it came out in October last year, but I'll definitely check it out and see what I think of it. They're actually planning on releasing an album this year, Man With A Mission, and I really am excited for that. Because it takes them like two years to make an album. Uh, hopefully they release an album this year. I hope so because I really love this band. They're one of my favorite Japanese bands that I've got into. But yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this Reason Why episode. Uh, stay safe out there. I know this coronavirus is just... People are losing their minds, grabbing all this paper towels and toilet paper at the store. But, and the Kleenex too. <laughs> and other things as well. But, like liquid hand soap too. They're taking that. <laughs> but, thank you for watching this Reason Why episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in my next video.